Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET and today I'm going to show you the next part of uh, shopping cart projects uh, or you can say food delivery app project in uh, ASP.NET Core. So first of all, I'm going to add a DB initializer uh, directory in your online food dot repository section. And here we go for uh, two items. The, the first one is the interface that is IDB initializer and the second one is the DB initializer okay so in the DB initializer uh, create two roles for the project that is the admin and the second one is the user and the admin is initialized with the dummy data or you can say that there is the default data or or you can say that that is the seeding uh, in ASP.NET Core so you can see So in the IDB initializer, here we have only one method that is initialize method and uh, the public class db initialize. So IDB initializer it here. And here we have create async with the user um, with the user manager user. So a user manager have a user and the role manager have identity roles. So you can say, oops, the role class is having with the disk description another property. So in the DB initializer, uh, where we have a user manager, user identity role, application DB context, and initialize these properties in the constructor with the DB initializer. And in the initialize method, uh, you can check that is the context or database dot get pending migration dot count is greater than zero. I mean to have to any migration exist, then go for the uh, migrate database migration. And if this role not exist like admin, then create admin and user both role uh, for the project. So first of all, check role manager dot role exist async admin dot get a waiter dot get result if it is not exist then create it first of all and after that user manager dot create async new user username email name phone number this so username is admin at the gmail dot com email is admin at the gmail dot com name is admin phone number is this so these are the property and you can add the password also and also assign this user with the role that is admin Okay, so the next part is <coughs> division initializer uh, class or interface you have to call with the program.cs file by using seeding method in the uh, pipeline after the just routing. So here you can add um, data seeding method. So here you can see that data seeding is the method name and there is the definition data seeding. So both are the different actually uh, data seeding is okay. So generate a method step uh, and after that you can just copy and paste this code in the, um, in the scope. So potential fixes. generate method stub and here we have a void data seeding and just copy this code and paste in the stub so just copy cut from and just after that paste in the app.run method so here we have a where scope equals to app dot service dot create a scope and db initializes scope dot service provider dot get required service 
that is already discussed in the shopping cart project IDB initializer DB initializer dot initialize method so called so called DB initializer dot initialize method <coughs> okay that's fine now the next uh, thing you can do in your project that is the cart repository okay so just open your repository section and add a new interface for the cart interface cart cart i cart repository and inherited with the uh, repository of cart so i repository that is the generic repository so uh, so so that you can say all these uh, all these common functions are implemented already in the cart repository so uh, implement from the i repository of the cart and here we have some methods cart get by cart id get cart by id and the next one is cart view model here we have get cart details delete update quantity and update cart here we have a cart related methods with their cart id and the item id and quantities and after that you can create a cart view model under the view model for the uh, under the view model projects So public class cart view model and in the cart view model here we have user id total tax grand total created date and uh, so uh, i list with the items a cart view model uh, have a cart actually related to the items so item view model just created with the list so i list of item view model initialize with the list of item view model okay so you can just add just after you have to add item view model in the view model project Okay, so the next thing is add a new class item view model with the public property Okay, so here we have. So, uh, so here we have a iCart repository of uh, i repository of cart. So the implementation detail uh, will be going for the cart repository. So in the cart view model is clear, item view model and the cart view model is clear. So uh, again return back to the iCart repository and in the iCart repository here we have a implementation with the cart repository so you know that uh, cart repository is in inherited with the repository of the cart as well as iCart repository because the i uh, because the cart repo cart uh, because the repository of cart is already have uh, some common functions and iCart repository with the updates these are update functions as well as the getting all card details functions okay so here we have a repository of card and iCart repository of card sorry iCart repository is actually not with the any template class so just remove uh, the card from here with the uh, from the iCart repository so your problem will resolve easily
So here we have a iCart repository and implement all these interface and resolve the namespace. In the later videos I will complete uh, this uh, repository section and uh, I will give you more uh, and more uh, easy example with the UI section. So first of all create all these repositories and then after I will create the controller also uh, controller sections if you want uh, first I do controller with the repository then I will uh, do it okay so don't uh, miss and please comment if you want repository with the control and and I complete all repositories first and then and then I will uh, do with the controller so just uh, comment it so in the delete section here you can go for item equals to context dot cart items dot where x tends to cart id is double equals to cart id that is mentioned in the uh, local parameter and double equals to x dot id x is cart items and item id and here we have a item id okay so first dot default item is not equals to null then remove the item first of all and make save changes so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos and don't forget please subscribe my channel if you like this video thank you very much